Hello, my name's Peter Shepherd. I am an ecologist and urban conservationist working on a number of parks here in London. Parks have always been uh, important to me right from uh, a young boy when I used to play in them, but for me today, uh, it's important to understand why parks are of such value to us and what is it that we really uh, love about them. Why do we like nature? Well, that's a very important question, a very large question. Um, for some people, it is because they are fascinated by nature and they spend their lives uh, studying it and researching nature. But for most of us, it is because we, we just like to see uh, and hear wildlife, birds and uh, squirrels and uh, beautiful plants. And there is a connection there that um, is very difficult to put into words, but we, we feel it. If you go back in time, then there has been uh, a long history from the early pagan uh, beliefs when people uh, recognized the importance of the seasons, they worshipped ancient trees uh, and uh, the changing of the seasons, the sun and the moon because they understood that those uh, things were so vital to them and the support of their lives. It gave them food, it gave them water and, and, and pleasure and fuel. Um, today, it's not quite so dramatic. The, uh, the benefits that we feel from nature are, are more are personal and not so essential to life. From a health perspective, uh, Parks enable us to relax, they, are, they relieve stress, they enable us to exercise by walking or cycling. Parks also give us uh, many community benefits. They act as a, a focal point for local people who live in the area. They give us a sense of our community. We are very familiar with them. They are places where we meet friends. They are places where we uh, have uh, meetings with groups and have events. Uh, sometimes concerts, but they, they give us that extra strength to our communities and the areas that we are living in. Urban parks were first started to be built during the height of the Industrial Revolution when cities were dirty and it was felt that people should have open green spaces uh, for their well-being and for their health and their enjoyment. The early parks were, were laid out to try and create our idealized view of, of what the countryside should be like. So there were uh, woodlands and small clumps of trees, open expanses of grassland and, and wetlands. And also in the early parks, a lot of concentration on gardens and horticultural uh, plantings, and they were considered to be very important. As time has moved on, the, the use of the parks has changed. and more sports has, has become an important part of the of parks. And then we went through a period of parks uh, declining uh, and not being well managed. More recently, we have been rejuvenating our parks and one of the key elements that we have been bringing in has been conscious attempt to add biodiversity value through the way we've managed our grasslands and our woodlands because we recognize that contact with nature regular contact with nature in our urban parks is so very important to us as humans.